So today we're going to talk about the causes of acid reflux, heartburn, and GERD. If you have these conditions, this will be very interesting, okay? Now, if you look up the actual cause of GERD, uh, it'll say, and by the way, GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disorder. It will tell you that it's the loss of normal pressure between the sphincter and the stomach. Uh, it'll say that it's an appropriate relaxation of the sphincter, which is that valve on top of the stomach that keeps everything intact. And then if we look at the cause of heartburn, it says that the cause is a symptom of GERD caused by acid reflux. What? If you look at the cause of acid reflux, it'll say, well, we're not sure, but it's triggered by pregnancy, smoking, obesity, hiatal hernia. So there's not actually a lot of data or information about the actual causes of these. Uh, it's all about the risk factors. It's the related triggers. It is the medications that you need to be on, et cetera. And so what people end up doing is they end up managing these symptoms with several different types of antacids. You have the protein pump inhibitors. You have the Tums, which is the calcium carbonate and something called H2 receptor blocker, okay? All three of these basically reduce the acid in the stomach, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the side effects. C. diff, which is a bacterial infection, osteoporosis, decreased B12, decreased magnesium, allergy reactions, heart attacks, and this thing called achlorhydria, okay? Tums, gas, Nausea, kidney stones, allergies, constipation, and this thing called achlorhydria. Then we have decreased sex drive, insomnia, muscle pain, vomiting, constipation, and achlorhydria. Wow, look at that. What is this? Let's take a look. It's a condition where you don't have the acid in your stomach anymore, okay? You have another condition called hypochlorhydria, okay, which is decreased or diminished acid in the stomach, and this is basically no acid in your stomach. Let's take a look at some of the side effects, okay? The side effects, GERD, acid reflux, heartburn, interesting, decreased B12, constipation, decreased magnesium, and decreased zinc, because the medications are actually causing this condition, which is creating the same problem. All right, so what's wrong with this picture? We have GERD, acid reflux, heartburn, then, then you take any acids, which then deplete the acid, which then cause the same symptoms over and over. And we have this interesting cycle right here. So then the question is, what causes these conditions, okay? Is it too much acid? Well, that's something a little bit different. That's more of a sour stomach. That is more of an acid stomach, which can then lead to gastritis. Maybe it's just the fluid is just too acidic, right? But, but what is the normal pH of the stomach? Between 1 and 3, okay? I mean, this, the pH scale goes from 1 to 14. You can't get a more acidic fluid than one. So the problem is not that it's too acid or too much acid. The problem is with all three of these, you're having acid that is splashing up into the esophagus because of this valve problem. And the valve is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. So really we have an autonomic nervous system problem that's then treated with an antacid, which then cause these three symptoms. Very interesting. So let's take another look at the cause of achlorhydria, okay? One of the causes is H. pylori. This microbe actually depletes the stomach acids, making the stomach acid less acid, okay? Another cause would be deficiency of zinc, which by the way, is one of the best remedies for ulcers and gastritis. Decreased potassium decrease sodium, decrease chlorides, okay? You need chloride to make hydrochloric acid. Decrease iodine, decrease vitamin B3. So you need nutrients to build hydrochloric acid. Also, if you have a hypothyroid condition, you could have this condition. And antacids can cause this condition. Here's the big question, okay? If this condition 
causes these three conditions, then what would happen if we added the acid back into the stomach? And guess what? I've seen this time and time and time again. When you add more acid into a stomach with these conditions, these conditions go away. Things like apple cider vinegar and betaine hydrochloride are very, very effective. Apparently, there's a relationship between the stomach acid and the valve. And if the stomach acid is the correct pH, that valve will stay nice and tight. But if you have these conditions, make sure you also understand that you need to fortify your, your, your body with these nutrients right here. Zinc, potassium, salt, okay, sea salt, iodine, which by the way is in the sea salt, and B3. All right, guys, go ahead and try this and comment below on your results. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.